Hi Stampers, I'm Meg from Love & Stamps and I have another set of projects to share with you. The first one I'm going to show you, uh, well they're all from the All Boxed Up Stamp Set, which is retiring, so don't wait too long to order this kit. They'll be gone May 31st of 2016. Uh, this is a great stamp set. I think it's kind of a sleeper. It didn't get a whole lot of play during the catalog this year, but you're going to want to add it to your collection before you're done because it's so flexible and just great for those cute little thank you notes and thinking of you and congrats and so forth. So the first card I'm going to show you you, uses surprise a metallic foil doily and I'm going to give you some tricks for sizing your foil doily to be whatever size you want so it's a really good trick let's get stamping all right so we'll pull our packet here with all the pieces ready to go for us one of the great things about stamps the mail club is you get to try all kinds of little things sequin trims metallic foil doilies without necessarily buying a whole package of those so all right our colors are bermuda bay and watermelon wonder so i'm going to fold my bermuda bay cardstock in half and i'm going to grab my watermelon wonder ink pad here um, because this circle motif on the background is kind of a cool one when you look at the stamp set you're like uh, but that circle has stuff in the middle of it. How does that work? So we're going to grab this stamp and I'm going to show you a great trick um, for how to use this as just a circle without the inside. Basically the key is a post-it note. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take my post-it note there, ink up my stamp and stamp it so that the wishing you the very best part, the words, are down near the adhesive. And I'm going to cut pretty close to those with my scissors. Um, let's see, I'm going to get rid of some of this extra here. And then I'm going to add a little extra snail in the back. Sometimes the post-it isn't quite enough. Go ahead and ink up your stamp. Take your post-it note, turn it to match, and stick that down. And then go ahead and do your first circle. Ink it again. Stick it again. And if you need to renew your sticky on your post-it note, you can always um, just add a little more snail. So I'm going to kind of repeat that until I have my circles and they're on sort of a diagonal line kind of basis. The big part here is going to be covered up by our card um, focal point mostly so I'm not going to worry about that too much but I do want to have one here that goes down off the bottom corner. All right so there we have that set. Then I'm going to ink it one more time and on the pre-punched circle that's in your kit I'm going to go ahead and stamp it. You can do this direction or if you're worried about getting it lined up you can sometimes do it more easily from this direction and then I usually take either another clear black to smush it down or a closed ink pad makes a nice firm stamping um, pad and there's our piece. All right, so I'm going to wash this um, and then I'm going to add some Bermuda Bay to it. So clean that off. I love my stamp and scrub. It's not fun to buy because really, you know, it's a washer and a dryer. I don't know. Any, I guess it's kind of fun to buy appliances, but it's the cheapest washer and dryer you'll ever buy. All right, and then I'm going to grab my Bermuda Bay, ink this baby up again. And what I want this time, oh, there's our straight post-it note, is really just the very best. So I've got that stamped there, and I'm going to go ahead and trim pretty darn close to that because we're going to layer this on our um, circle that we've just done. All right, and don't forget to use the edges of your Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm going to snag that tiny edge there so that I don't have to trim. I do have to turn the paper over though. It's easier to grab with a piece of Stampin' Dimensional in the back, right? <laughs> All right, now the project or the pro the tip product tip that I had promised you was how to convert the size on your um, doily because this is just out of proportion. This is not as cute as this, right? There's too much gold space around. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to take your doily. You're going to cut to the center, all right, straight line. You're gonna take this and you're going to curve, here's this direction, you're going to curve the pieces so that they overlap and you wanna get them so that they're about, just from the top, it's gonna to be kind of a cone shape, but you wanna get them so that it's about the right size. I'm gonna make it a little tighter, okay. Then I'm gonna kind of mark that here with my, um, with my mind and then I'm going to take some um, fast fuse adhesive and go ahead and put that right back across there. So a little fast fuse, close this up again. Use this just for reference. 
Yep, that looks about the right size. Okay, and squish that. All right, so now you have a cone, okay? But what you need to do is you need to squish the bottom. So take this and just pinch right at the top of the cone and see what that's doing? It's squishing down our shape so that it is on the right side. I like it so that it's popped this way as opposed to popped this way because I like the edges to stick up. And then you can kind of stick your piece in the center and really just sort of flatten it. So I'm pressing down to flatten and see how that gives us a doily. It's just the right shape. Now if you don't like it, if it's cupped a little too much still, you can flatten it a little more. But you want to make sure that you're squishing from the inside. You kind of, you can push, take your thumbs and forefingers and push them together so it's this kind of action. And the advantage of that is that you're going to um, get your doily set without ripping the edges because you want to try and avoid ripping the edges. Okay. So you just kind of work with it until you have about the right edge. And then this little piece here kind of is annoying me because it's showing. So I'm going to clip that baby off, pop a dimensional on the back, stick this down here on the center of our newly correct sized doily. And then you can use dimensionals or eh, fast fuse works great to stick that there on the front. Okay. Last thing um, of this card, um, we're going to pop those colors out. See how that blue, that Bermuda Bay pops out when I layer it on the same color cardstock. That is one of the great things about Stampin' Up! ink cardstock and papers is that the colors just match. They're, they're just perfect every time. So you really get nice uh, results because you have matching colors and things. People aren't bothered by that like, well, it's almost the right color of red. All right, last thing here, I'm going to take my um, sequin trim, love this stuff, pull out all the sequins off it. I think I want about five. There might have been some extras here. And go ahead and stick those down. And I kind of like to sprinkle them just kind of wherever. I think I'll do three up here in this bigger space. And then two down here in the smaller space. I can hardly pick them up. And then there's a number of ways you can um, adhere them. You can use your snail. You could just go ahead and stick a mini glue dot on there. You could um, use the fine tip glue pen to go ahead and stick down. But um, however you stick them on, they are going to um, just add a lot of extra glitz to your card. And there is our finished project. So Stamps the Mill Club for May. Don't forget that the um, All Boxed Up stamp set is retiring. It'll be gone at the um, end of May 2016, so don't wait too long to request your kit. These cards would also be great with one of the brand new stamp sets. And I have another version to show you using the Scenic Saying sets that will come out June 1st um, in the brand new Stampin' Up! catalog. So if you haven't requested your catalog from me yet, um, or if you have another demonstrator, make sure you talk to your own demonstrator. But uh, you can check my uh, blog and my website for details about requesting your own catalog so that you will have the whole new thing, the whole new catalog that starts on June 1st of 2016. So anyway, another alternate card idea. Thanks so much for stamping with me by mail, and I look forward to sharing another video with you soon. Happy stamping!